So why am I here today talking about it? Well, I've got 20, I, I had eight, yesterday when I started working, I had 18 hours on the hour meter. And I thought, oh, I'll go out here and split for a couple of hours and I'll be at the 20 hour mark for the uh, um, servicing of the uh, engine and the uh, filter. So we're going to do both of those today and we're going to start with uh, the engine. I just warmed the engine up and now I'm going to uh, drain the oil. Uh, on my last video I did about changing oil in my wood splitter. It was um, I didn't um, warm the oil up and I thought that would be a good idea and the other thing I didn't do was raise the uh, tilt the engine a little bit so it would drain out a little faster so I have my uh, jack over here my floor jack and I'm just going to go ahead and jack it up an inch or two and then we'll crack the uh, case open and drain the oil I put two pumps on the floor jack and now we're going to go ahead and open up the drain, oil drain. Uh, relatively clean I'm going to go ahead and grab the uh, oil and a funnel so while that's draining I'm going to go ahead and talk to you a little bit one thing I did was I downloaded uh, Wolfrid Manufacturing's owner's manual and the Honda GX 270 owner's manual now I looked to see what the uh, oil requirements were but I forget how much oil it requires won't be more than a quart but what I got is uh, Amazon basic full synthetic 10w30 it recommends in the manual 10 10w30 weight oil I went ahead and got the full synthetic because I will be splitting in colder weather so let me open the manual so it calls for 1.2 quarts of oil okay while I was gone the uh, oil finished draining Torque the plug to specifications. I'm going to wipe down around the uh, fill plug. Looks like a little bit of exhaust or something on there don't know why it would be exhaust because the exhaust pointing that way but it was a little dirty a little dark black I don't know why that would be but there it is move the drain I'm sorry remove the uh, dipstick insert the funnel into the dipstick hole and Grab my Amazon basic oil. Now, additionally, the uh, owner's manual for the Honda GX270 calls for SJAPI oil. And this is SPSM plus or SM. So, 
P, N, and M are all higher than J, so this is a perfectly suitable oil according to uh, the Honda owner's manual. Another thing the uh, Honda owner's manual has you do is inspect the air filter. I've already done that. One of the reasons why I'm making this video is to document the fact that I serviced the engine at the 20 hour mark. Although I did go uh, to 22.5. I, like I said earlier, I don't know if I finished my thought is when I started splitting wood yesterday, it was at 18 hours, and I ended up splitting for a lot longer than I thought. So there's one quart minus a few drops that back washed. When you do this, when you check your oil, you want to have your oil or your uh, machine sitting level. That's what I did. One thing, I I took, actually took a level and put it on the beam and also on the uh, hydraulic uh, tank, the hydraulic oil tank, and made sure that the engine was level um, front to back or excuse me, the machine was level front to back and I'm assuming that if the machine is level the uh, plate that the engine's mounted on is also level. So um, that's what I did there. But it says 6.2 US quarts. Um, according to my calculator or according to Google a quart is 32 ounces and one tenth of 32 ounces would be 3.2 ounces. So two tenths would be six ounces. And I only put four additional ounces in and it's running out. So I think it's full. Hopefully not over full. So let's go ahead and start it up. Now this does have an electric start on it. But I'm just going to pull start it for demonstration purposes. The Honda engine has a uh, low oil sensor in it, according to the manual. So if you, if let's say the drain plug would fall out or the dipstick would fall out, then um, and the oil ran on the ground and you were running, the engine would shut down by itself and minimize the uh, damage to the engine. So that's a cool safety feature. Anyhow, we're gonna wrap this up, call it a day. Do me a favor, hit that like button, share this video, comment down below if you've seen something that I might, have, uh, might be able to do a little bit better in the future. That being said, cheers. Stop recording.